folks, it's Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be building a terrarium, maybe. Um, not entirely sure how this is gonna go. Um, I will be building it with this um, IKEA, because I love IKEA, <laughs> um, IKEA Soccer, I think it's called. Um, I have two of these already set up, but I have them for some plants that I'm propagating. Um, but I'm going to try to turn this one into a terrarium and we are going to see how that goes because it is not, um, it's not really like entirely sealed, like hermetically sealed or anything like that. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't leak. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, first I'm going to build it. Um, and then I am going to make the terrarium. Um, like I did with the greenhouse. I will build up, speed up the beating, building process um, and I will build up. Oh my God. It's been a long day. I will speed up um, the terrarium construction part also, um, but I'll tell you what I'm doing at every stage. And yeah, since I've built this um, twice already, I'm pretty comfortable building it. Probably not going to use the instructions. Um, but they're here if I need them. So let's go. I'm just talking to the void. Um, it's really only four steps. It's pretty easy. So this is the base of the terrarium. Um, these are the side panels, or the front and back panel, and then there are two side panels, like so. So I'm gonna take the plastic off of it and then start putting it together. I did forget that taking off the plastic was the hardest part. <sighs> okay, so now that I've got all of the pieces Dis um, unplasticed. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Um, so I can't really show you this because it's too hard to build and film at the same time. But that's okay. So I have the side pieces in. Um, if you can see any of it. And now I'm just gonna err the front and back. And now I'm gonna put the side pieces in. This is the tricky part. So you might wanna have a buddy with you for this part. Recommended. <sighs> Highly recommended. Okay, so it is together after some struggles. Um, so on the bottom, um, so for the layers of this terrarium, I'm just gonna put a layer of perlite on the bottom um, and then a layer of sphagnum moss. And then on top of that, I will put soil. Um, I don't have any like river stones or anything. So perlite is the best option for now. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and then I have some moistened sphagnum moss here. Oops. 
I'm just gonna put a layer of this on the bottom. Okay, and so here is my moss and perlite layer. It's a little foggy because I used warm water to wet the moss, but let's get some plants. Okay, so I just have three plants that I wanna put in here today. Um, I will probably put more plants in once I see if I like this, um, but these are, these are two types of peperomia that I don't fully know the names of and one type of pilea, pilea glauca. Um, and I got the idea to put these in a terrarium from watching one of Rose's videos today, Yoga and Plant with Rose on YouTube. Um, I will link her channel or at least that video down below um, if you wanna watch it, but it was her live stream on caring for peperomias. So I'm gonna put a layer of dirt in here and then I'm gonna put the plants in and then, yeah, that should be about it. So I didn't put a very thick layer of dirt down um, because I'm going to put dirt around the plants once I get them in here. So I'm gonna fill around the plants as I put them in here, just to get, give them some stability. All right, <laughs> there it is. So let's get a close-up shot. All right, so here are the plants. Um, these are my two types of peperomia that I don't know what type they are. A little bit of dirt on the leaves. And this is the Pilea glauca. Um, I'm hoping it will climb up the side. Um, but yeah, definitely gonna put some more plants in here because it's pretty barren. So thank you guys for watching my um, little terrarium build. Um, I'm definitely going to put some more plants in here. I didn't realize how sparse it was going to look, but it does give them room to grow. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, in the comments down below, let me know if you have any terrariums. And if so, what plants you have growing in them. Thanks, everyone.